Hi everyone, this is Tracy, and I get this question a lot. What do I eat before my runs? Well, I tend not to consume things with high fiber like oats. A lot of people either don't run before uh, so that they can burn fat, which is understandable, but we do need some type of immunity. So if I'm going for a short run, uh, such as you know five miles or less, which would be considered for me a short run, <laughs> Um, I'll do an emergency uh, and I'll do that. I'll do two of those emergencies with eight ounces or 10 ounces of water, excuse me, and uh, then go for a run. For a race, I'll do the same thing, grab, um, like maybe eat half of an apple or something of that nature, just to give him a quick release of energy. Um, the one thing I don't do is I don't consume oatmeal before a run due to the high fiber content. So I really don't want activity in that area if you get my drift. <laughs> so I will make sure that I have something that is low in fiber. Um, I know apples are high in fiber, but it's just a different energy. Um, my body treats it a little bit differently. So watch uh, when you're eating. That's why we train and why you're supposed to fuel your body and understand what your body's doing. And you don't take anything new in prior to a race, a race day. So if you don't do goo on a, on a typical day, which I don't, I would never do it um, during a race. So if, um, so what I do in my race shorts, <laughs> I actually take in mustard packets, I stack master, mustard packets. I have a wristband and I'll put them in my wristband or, and I put vitamin C in my short pocket and they're chewable vitamin C's and I just pop them throughout a marathon. And what that does, it keeps my immune system up because running those long distances or, you know, really exerting our body like that, uh, it tends to suppress the immune system. So that's why for before a run, I'll do the emergency immunity uh, drink. And um, with the mustard packets, you know, that has turmeric and vinegar and the mustard seed has so many great anti-inflammatory properties. And that's why I'm able to run without that lactic acid, like getting into the muscles or soreness after. So I pop those in after mile uh, eight or nine, and I'll just start doing that like a goo, if you will, or even an electrolyte. So I don't take in Gatorade even, I just consume the water that's on the race and um, pretty successful in that arena. So I feel confident in my race day regimen. The other thing is, is that uh, I, when I'm in training or what have you, I'll eat things like grits. <laughs> grits have low fiber, but they have a high carbohydrate. So it'll have 27 grams of carbohydrate and it's a low glycemic, whereas oatmeal is a high glycemic. And with high glycemics, I'd like to recommend that you um, consume it with a low glycemic. So like a nut butter is a good choice. I do that instead of butter. And with the grits, I'll just put salt and pepper with it, to be honest. Uh, pepper is an anti-inflammatory. And um, the sea salt, the pink Himalayan sea salt, gives me my minerals. And um, it actually helps keep my blood pressure lowered. And, uh, and it gives me those electrolytes that I need during my run. And it is quick energy because it is a high carbohydrate, but not a high glycemic. So it's not going to rush to the bloodstream too quickly, causing my um, cardiovascular wall to expand wide and then go really tight in. So it doesn't do like this number. I like to say a, a semi truck with a Ferrari engine. That's what you kind of want to prevent. Uh, instead, you, you want to keep that slow moving kind of golf cart situation through the bloodstream, just releasing energy. You know, that's why I particularly eat um, often all throughout the day. I'll have an apple for a snack, I'll have half a banana. So whatever my portion is, like my, my fruit will fit in the palm of my hand. So that's typically for women, it, that's going to be our um, fruit size. So I like to take my hand as in portion control. This is a cup. So that's going to be my veggie. So at the tip of the um, fingertips to the wrist. Those are, um, excuse me, my, my veggies. Yes, my dark greens, my spinach and things of that nature. From mid down will be my fruit. That's uh, typically um, half a cup. And then this is my, this is a carbohydrate, which is about like a slice of bread without the crust. 
um, that's going to be a fourth of a cup. That's also the same as if you're having pasta. And then in the middle here is my uh, fats. So a uh, palm full of nuts, um, a tablespoon of oil. So I even to lubricate my joints uh, throughout the day, I'll do a shot of olive oil. I know I do very interesting things. I get it. I love wheatgrass shots and carrot juice. So I'm one of those, but it does work for me. And I hope that this information has helped. Have a great day.